Hey, what's up, guys? I want to make a video telling you or showing you how to program something to automate another program. It's not magic. It's not even that hard. So uh, I think I'll show you guys. All right, a couple things we're going to need. Um, a spy program, an API spy. So like there's WinSpector, API spy. There's a million of them out there. I'm just using the built-in one with uh, the Visual Studio. We got Dialfix, which is what we're going to automate today. And uh, DevC++, which is a free um, compiler and IDE. So Dialfix, what we're going to make the program do is hit this checkbox. We're going to uncheck this. We're going to flush yes. We're going to hit go. Wait for our policies to be ungraded. Hit policies. Hit remove. Close. Exit. Pretty simple, but uh, fully automates Dialfix. So let's go. First thing we're going to need is to import um, or include uh, some libraries. So we're going to do, uh, sorry, iostream or uh, Windows. iostream is for editing streams, input output streams, and Windows is for the Windows APIs. So here's a quick function that we're not going to care about for today. I could explain it later, but go to MSN and it'll explain it for you. This is a simple create a process function. You pass a string to it and it tries to create that um, string as a process. So we're going to type in we're going to pass Dialfix to this, and it's going to run Dialfix in its own process. Here is our second function, and here's where the magic happens. This is calling find window x with four parameters. The first two parameters are window handles, and the second two are strings. The first one tells it where to start looking for the string, or where to start looking for the, the, the window. Um, the second one tells it under that window that you've specified which one you want to start at. Um, the next one is the window class and then the window title. Let me show you what I mean by those things. So, da -da -da, we got this. All right, let's find Dialfix. Okay, so to find Dialfix on the desktop, um, first we want to say no because it's not under any window. We just want to find Dialfix in general. Um, the next parameter is where do you want to start at? Since it's we're looking for it by a specific name. It's not like a generic thing. Um, we don't need to specify that one. That would only be needed if some of these guys all have the same thing. There's no title and they all have the same class. We're going to be using that, the second parameter for those guys in a minute. And I'll show you. All right, so the window title and class. There's a window title. It's called the caption in here. And then it's class TFM1. So just fill that stuff in and it would find the window. And then you can do stuff to it later. So, this basically, it's going to do a while loop until it finds this, and then it, it slips for um, half a second in between checking for it, and after it's found it, it's going to print it out along with um, the strings that you searched for it, and the handle, it's going to return with the handle to that window so that we can do other stuff to it. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to start copying and pasting parts of the code and uh, explaining it. So let's chunk this part in. Okay, so here's our main function. This is what, what's needed to call the program. Um, well, here's a couple uh, handles that we're going to need. So we have main, which is going to be the main window. Hammer, which is going to be the, uh, the handle for that little hammer button guy. Um, window, which is just going to be a generic handle that we'll be using over and over again. And button, which will be a generic button that we'll be using over and over again. So first we're going to create a process, dial a fix, since that's what it's called, I hope. Yep, just dial fix. Okay. So we're going to create a process dial fix. So now that dial fix is up and running, we're going to start looking for the main window. Um, because it's not under anything, it's right on the desktop, the first parameter is null. Because it has a unique window title and caption, we don't need to specify this, so it's null as well. And as we showed before, its caption is T41. And its title is, oops, its title is Dialfix, is version 0. Point whatever. I can copy and paste that. I already have it though. We just paste it right there. So there's the title and there's the caption. Or there's the, uh, the class. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go down a bit. The next thing we need to do is a find that checkbox button. Unfortunately, because the checkbox button doesn't have a title, it's just a graphic, it's kind of a pain to get to. So if we look at these windows, the first T-bit button is that guy. 
Second one is a hammer. Third one is that guy. And that's a different thing, that's a different thing. And the fourth one is a checkbox. So when we do a for loop, zero through four, um, we, could, we could do it zero through uh, less than five or less than equal to five. This is basically going to loop four times. Um, and since button is null right now, the first time this for loop runs, button is going to be null. So it's searching from main, which we already found is this guy. It's going to start looking here, found one, two, three, and then four. Now, this one's going to, I is going to be zero, because it's the first time it runs. This one, it's going to be one. Now, we want to remember the hammer, so I put in here, if I equals one, hammer equals button. And uh, button's going to be redefined every time it finds this window. So, this is just a, a tight little for loop that's going to be looping through until it finds that checkbox. And after the checkbox is found, um, it stops. And then we want to click that checkbox. So how are we going to check it, check it, click it, is um, post message. We're going to post a message, um, most of Windows is message based, to a button, which we found, that's going to be the, the checkbox. And we're sending the BM click message. There's many other ways to do mouse buttons. There's WM, mouse, L, up, and down, and blah, 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 who cares? The BM click is the simplest for us right now. Press the button. All right. So now we're going to start doing other stuff. We need to find the adjust date time checkbox daily guy. So first we're going to find this prep boxy thing. So let's search through and we'll find prep. There it is. Um, so we need to look for tgroup box as a class and prep as a title. So let's do that. I'm going to copy and paste a little bit more than just that just because I'm lazy. So there's the table box, and there's prep. Next thing we want to find is the adjust date and time thing. So it's a T checkbox, and it's just a bit adjust date and time. So T checkbox, adjust date and time. Now, if you notice, each time I'm setting um, what's found with a variable. So since main is going to always stay dollar fix in this, ca in this case, it's, it's the main window, we're going to have like our own. So we're going to say window equals the prep window thing. So window is going to be this guy. And then we say button, search under window instead of main. Because if you noticed, here's dial fix. If we searched for the just date and time under uh, main, we wouldn't find it because it's not in here. We've got to search under prep. And since we set prep to window, we've got to search window instead of main. So because it's got a unique, unique uh, class and title, we, we still set this to zero, or null, same thing. And if we find that, then we're going to post a message. And at this point, um, it's pretty much the same game, uh, just over and over again. I'm going to copy and paste a bunch of the same stuff. Uh, da, da, da. Put that guy in there. So this is just looking for the Windows Update group box. This is the little flush, the flush software distribution. Um, so it's just going to find the WUA thing, T group box. Find that T group box, WUA. Then it's going to find T button, flush software distribution. Da, da, da. T, bot, T button, flush software distribution. And it's going to click it. Now, when you click that in Dialfix, it comes with a pop up. So we have to search for this pop up. Since that pop up is a separate guy, it's going to show up um, on the desktop. Not on the dial fix. It's going to be its own little thing. See, T message form confirm. So, we have to look for, oh, I already pasted that in there. T message form confirm. And we're searching non low because it's, it's right on the desktop. It's not under any other window. So we're saying window equals uh, the T message form confirm. And then button equals T button yes. And we found it by, there's confirm, and T button, yes. It's got a little and guy in there. So I put the little and guy in there as well. Then we click the yes button. So that it does its thing. Then we have to find the go button. But the go button becomes disabled when you hit uh, yes there. So we've got to wait for it to be done. Um, so first we have to find the button, T button go, and it's under main. So we'll just confirm that. Let's hit cancel here. Da, 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 dial a fix. There it is. It's right under the main guy, and it's T button go. So we find that. Now we have to wait for it to be uh, 
uh, not grayed out. So we do this using a while loop. We say while get laid along button, which we just found. There's a, the go button now equals button. So we're looking for get window along. Um, we're using get window along in the button, and we're doing its JWL style. Um, and then we're using end because we're comparing um, bit flags, uh, binary flags. And uh, in this case, you can check the flags using the styles. So WS visible, or WS, in this case, it's WS is disabled. Um, disabled is not in there right now because it hasn't been clicked. But if we were to go ahead and say, do this, or actually, see how they're all grayed out right now? If I were to check now, it should be yep, WSS, WS disabled. So this is going to keep looping and slipping 500, sec or 500 milliseconds every time in between. It's going to keep looping and staying here until this is not disabled. So once it's not disabled, then we're going to click it. So we do the post message click. All right, so now we're going to find the policies button. Click that. It's just a T button under the main. It's policies. We can check that. Da, 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 da. Where are you? Am I not finding it? Options, that's under main. Yeah, T button policies. Oh, maybe there? W oh, there it is, po policies, T button. All right, so we find that, then we click policies. Policies is going to pop up with its own little window, as you notice when you hit this and it pops up. So we're going to have to search um, using no null again instead of a uh, you know searching main. So we do window equals null null p form one dial fix restrictive policies because that's what the name of that window is. We can find that by doing this. I'm just hitting F5 to refresh that. There it is restrictive policies. And then underneath that there is a row button. But we only want to press that if it's Enabled. Right now, there's no restrictive policies to hit, so it's grayed out. So we find the button, remove TV button, and then in this case, we're doing the same thing as this guy, but uh, we're going to say if it's not. And we're not doing a while loop. This is just a one-time thing. So we're saying if it's not um, disabled, then just go ahead and click it. Otherwise, just continue. You know, the more um, the exclamation point in uh, bit logic is not. So if not, get the window style disabled. So if, if the window uh, style is not disabled, then um, click the button. So da, 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 let's go on. All right, now we're going to uh, close that window that pops up. The thing's called close. We're just finding um, in the window that we've already, we already have the window for the restricted policies. So since we have that, we type in window there. We're searching for close T button, and then we're just clicking it. And last but not least, we're going to have to wait until the exit button is, um, or in this case, the handle button or any button. We're going to go. We're going to click go in this case. Let's just empty the temp files. Oh, that went too fast. We'll do this. So this is grayed out. The hammer is grayed out. So we could have done go or the hammer. But because we already have the hammer from up here, we're going to use the hammer. So we say, keep doing this while loop, sleeping in the 500 milliseconds in between. Um, when we keep doing it as long as hammer is disabled. Once hammer is not disabled, go on, get the exit button, and click the exit button. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to uh, copy and paste all that in there. I'm going to post um, this code along with the video as well. And uh, so we have to save this somewhere. Let's save this to uh, the desktop. So I'm going to say C document settings, uh, owner, desktop, um, fun. It's going to save it there. We're going to compile. Compiling is done. Let's make sure Dialfix is on the desktop. All right, we should be good to go. Let's hit run. And there it goes. We hit go. 
Actually, right now it doesn't hit go. It did uh, the first uh, software distribution. All right, it just did the policies. It hit go, so now we're waiting for the hammer to be done. Cool, and it exited, and everything is nice and happy. So, so if you guys are interested, in, um, I can post some more examples. Sometimes you may want to uh, send text input to um, a program, or you may want to get text from the program. I can send all that kind of stuff. Just let me know if you guys are interested. Uh, but there it is. All right, so.